Hi, uh, my name is Imran Chaudhry. I am an assistant professor of clinical medicine at University of Rochester Medical Center and Cardiology Unit. We know uh, from a lot of studies done in the past that regular aerobic exercise decreases the risk of uh, adverse cardiac events like heart attacks um, three or four times. The benefits occur at all levels. At the heart level, the heart pumps more uh, blood and that improves the strength of the heart muscles and over time leads to a stronger heart. Then at the muscular level, um, increased blood flow in the muscle of the body uh, gets your glucose down, help, helps people with diabetes bring their glucose down. It also helps bring your cholesterol levels down uh, and that is related to the fact that as you exercise more, you lose, uh, you, you burn calories and you lose fat cells. Remember, when you're exercising, the first thing the body does is that it increases sympathetic discharge from your brain. These are hormones that make, your, make the receptors in the heart beat, fat, beat more and strongly. And, and if your heart is not used to doing that, the stimulation from those hormones can actually be detrimental to the heart muscle. You hear about marathon um, runners um, dying, and it is always a very, very high profile case, and that is why we hear about every single one of them. There are actually studies done uh, on marathon runners. Uh, there's one study done in 2007 in which they just looked at all marathons run in the United States that included a thousand people or more over 10 years. And they, they looked at the incidence of sudden death in those marathon runners, and it came out to be 0 0.8 out of 100,000. So that is essentially 0.0008%. Any physical activity that taxes a person's heart to an extreme degree will be a very vigorous physical activity. So if you're not used to snow shoveling, and all of a sudden go out in the driveway and start shoveling snow. That can be an extremely vigorous physical activity with adverse consequences on, on somebody's heart. We see it every winter. In fact, the first snowstorm is um, something we actually dread. The, the bottom line is that whenever, if, you're used, if you're not used to a certain level of physical activity, you should be careful suddenly adopting that level of activity. When we look at these scientific studies, we look at our consumption of oxygen with exercise. That's one way we assess training, uh, and that's also one way we assess somebody's heart when we're dealing with a heart failure population. So our ability to consume oxygen, which is through breathing, is, is a very good indicator of how much exercise we're doing. So I, th I think one rough way would be that if you are not able to carry a, a conversation with one sentence while you're doing it, I think you've done too much. The key here is to, is to recognize that whenever a news item like this comes out, it creates a, a sense of uh, insecurity among people that maybe exercise has some bad effects. And you know, I, I want to make sure people understand that exercise has benefits. There's no question about it. It is the matter, it, it, it is the way we do exercise that can make a difference.